my name is Karthikeyan and I've recently completed my CMA, part one and part two together. And I've also finished my BCom from Jain University. So, what made me uh, take up this course is, uh, first of all, when I was looking at professional certifications, I wanted something uh, which is not so much time consuming and as well as, you know, which would give me uh, you know, progress in my career uh, in, a fa in, a, in a much faster way. So that's when I came across CMA. I realized that it has two parts, which is not only just, uh, what do you say, testing your um, academic skills, but also your uh, professional um, level of uh, focus. So that's when I, you know, I wanted to, that's when I chose to do this course and when I was looking out for uh, course providers or uh, classes and I came across Miles and I really like the model in which they are uh, you know conveying or uh, transmitting this uh, course to the students or the people who are pursuing this course so that's when I that's when I came across Varun's videos and they were really informative and he was uh, the, the, his teaching model or the, or the way he's conveying the concepts was really fun and uh, very informative in fact and the, the pace of the classes were also very nice and um, for, for, a, for a person who is still undergoing his undergraduation, I think this CMA provides a lot of value because it builds on the concepts that you already know. Um, I would suggest, you know, there might be you know, certain setbacks if, if at all you face any, but you know, um, this course is very well structured and there is no, there is, there is no time where you would find a lethargy or you know, a, a sort of a boredom in the content. It's very uh, well structured content, I would say. So, you know, uh, it's, it's a good course to pursue, definitely. And for the ones who are, you know, uh, going uh, with this course, um, I would like to suggest a few tips. Uh, one is, you know, uh, to be frank, I, I spend on a daily basis around two hours, probably, which is, a, which is not much to hear when it comes to professional certification, but it's, but it's enough. If you fo can focus in those two hours with the content, with the books first, and then if you go, go on to, you know, practice the questions, I'm sure the exam will be a great, um, you know, a, a great place for you to actually, you know, go and test yourself and I'm sure you'll come out successful. More adding on to it, uh, though we get the uh, books from Wiley, uh, we also get books from Miles. So what is exactly what they've actually done from what I've seen is they have, you know, concised it and, you know, they're conveying uh, the, the the course uh, to the, for the students in a, a very well-structured way so that you don't have to spend a lot of time with, uh, you know, big books and you don't end up, you know, getting uh, tensed when you're before going, there, before going to the exam. So in that way, if you see the Miles notes uh, go hand in hand with the Wiley books, uh, you, should not, you should not leave out one and take the other one. You should go, that's, that's one tip I would like to convey because you have to take both together. Uh, places where you don't really uh, grasp certain concepts, you can go back to the Wiley book, you know, probably read up there because they have a little introduction to certain concepts and how they uh, bring the flow. Or you can also, you know, uh, after you complete uh, reading from the Wiley book, you can always come back to the Miles book and, you know, take out the points you require or you didn't understand and get back to the, uh, you know, teachers or staff present at Miles and, you know, always do the question banks and other things provided. That'll be a good approach to clearing the uh, exams, you know, much quicker.